What up, tubers? This is Ray from Rayware Computers. It's 1996, rwcweb.com, 2021. You've been struggling when it comes to creating your affiliate websites. You're not alone. If you're having problems getting your affiliate sites going, stop. Go to rwcweb.com. Follow those little blinking up arrows, and I shall send you oodles and oodles of stuff when you put your email in that box and click that button okay now is what we're gonna do okay we're gonna do a Shopify hack thing got the Brooklyn thing going on I don't know if a lot of you don't know you go to shopify.com slash partners okay you can sign up for free and make these websites for free I've had this one for a while now okay of course I own the dot com but you can just have it like the old DOS Geek one right here, okay, where it's subdomain. You can get free subdomains for life with this, guys, okay? For affiliate marketing, you know, you can do a couple of things with this, okay? You can go in here and you can customize this and you can, like, try and delete as much of it as possible. Let me, let me see if I could bring you up a... Um, Let's see if we can open this in a new tab. All right, so you see like affiliate marketing. See how it's got that pop up for there. Okay. Uh, win cha. Secure tech out. Let's try this guy. Actually, I just show you one of my own. Oh, this is nice. Whatever it is. Oh, I have no idea what that is. All right, let me show you one of my own. Okay, uh, that's of course yours truly. That's the one I always show you at the beginning of my. Uh, let's see, here's, here's one. Okay, now I actually uh, made this an A Weber. Put this up like this. Okay, uh, in my last video, I, I showed you how to put these forms onto your Shopify store okay now with this what we're going to do is we're going to make a quick landing page and you know you can have your shopify store you know as you if you say you have and i would suggest you know like the best way to do it is one product stores you know if you want to take a product even if it's an affiliate product you know you can actually do a one product store with an affiliate product i'll be making some more videos on this right so i'm going to add a page Okay, now whatever you put here, you, you're going to have to name the page. So let's do, see that's going to be on the top left. Okay, like this here. Oh, that was the other theme I was using. That was just crap. Okay, and there is a way that's going to be able to remove it. Okay, so let's just go. Let's do this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to name that page that. Let's see how it looks. Okay. And again, I, I haven't used Shopify for a minute. And boy, how things have changed. Okay. All right. So they put it right here. Which ain't a bad thing. Okay. And I'm not sure why it's not showing all that other stuff. I think I blocked it all out. Let me go back to the online store, customize, okay, get your slideshow, okay, so that was the page, all right, so that was the page that I was on, okay, so now, in this page, on this page, I don't really want a header or a footer, you want to make it, okay, you want to make it look like a landing page, now, they do have some apps that you can get through them okay but essentially you really want to get rid of this this ain't too bad like the search thing you don't really want that there we might be able to take that out of the footer manually okay now we can do it like this right come here i'm going to show you this code i'm going to have a, a location i have a link at the bottom of, of this video and uh, 
I'll show you, I'll, I'll link you to these codes and the instructions what to do with this, okay? I'm just going to put this here like this. I'm going to save it. Okay, and that's the remove header code. So boom, the header is gone. Okay, now what you want to do is see something real quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this. See, now this is, these are all images. What I do when I'm creating pages with HTML, okay, and I believe I created this in a Weber sort of form can be in there. I use pictures. It's something they used to do in the old days. Believe it or not, in the old days on the porn sites. They made the whole site basically in pictures. Okay, because it was it was they used low resolution pictures and that's what they designed the site with. And um because it was had dial up modem and stuff like that, they didn't really need to put much text in there because you know it's a smut thing. But these are all images, okay? I can show you. All right, see, so these are all images on my site here, okay? Now let me, I'm going to try it with this one first because they are all pictures. I'm going to go view the source. And this is for actually the first time I'm trying it like this. Let's go back to this Shopify page that we created. Put that there. Let's see if it, if we can actually get this to work in here. Okay, let's see what goes on. All right, so it's kind of small. Look at this. It kept the, it kept the. Uh, let's hide this out. It kept my form and everything. Okay, and that was pretty quick and simple. All right, you have an instant landing page. Now. You could simplify it, okay? And and remember, up here, this is going to be your title, okay? It's going to be your title text, so you may want to, you know, use that. You know, like I, I probably should have grabbed it, you know, something different to put up there, you know, and so forth. But that that's basically one of the easiest hacks ever. Now, if you want to get rid of that footer, which we should, because it already kept my footer here. We're going to go back to the code of the theme, right? We're going to go back to the code. Let's see the preferences. This is the code. Where is the code of my theme here? Now, if you study into this, they, they might have, uh, you know, I'm going to go to edit code, okay? Then we're going to go to this particular file. Okay. Layout theme liquid. So I'm going to go under layout theme liquid. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on with this editor here. Whoops. Edit the code. And you know, again, Shopify, what, what makes them so great? Okay, what makes them so great is that they allow you to edit the code. Okay, so now over here, we're looking for this section here. All right, so an easy way to find it. Now, first, what you want to do, let me show you how to do this first, okay? We're going to select all of this code, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to put it in a temporary notepad thing, okay? All right, you want to paste this in here first. Okay. Now, anytime you make these adjustments in Shopify or anything, that's one way of backing it up. Now we can look through here and look for this section script, right? We can look through here and it's difficult. Okay. So if you click on the, the you know, into the, 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 the form anywhere in here. Okay. Hold control and hit the letter F and then come back and get this code that we're looking for. Okay. It's going to find it and then we're just going to eliminate it. Okay. Then we're just going to eliminate it and that's going to get rid of the footer code. Okay. 
See that code down here? This right here. Okay. Okay, well, I the bar. That's because I'm signed in. So basically, that easy and that quickly you can do this. Now, I'm pretty sure also, if I remember, because again, it's been a minute since I did the Shopify thing. Okay. Uh, I think it's in preferences. Homepage title, that's the meta description. Um, I can't remember where it, where it was. Preferences, navigation, pages, theme. I think it's on the theme. But there's a section. Edit languages, yeah, that's where it's at. Okay. There's a section here where you should be able to remove that title. Okay, and it's probably in here somewhere. And there's also like in here, I believe that's how you remove the powered by Shopify. Of course we got rid of the footer, so you don't have to worry about that now. Okay. And again, when anything like this, you want to copy and paste into a notepad what you removed and make sure you remember where you got it from. Okay. Home page. Let's go there. And, you know, you, you can Google this. I'll, I, I can also look it up again because it's been a while since I've used the Shopify platform for anything but I did like it because you were, you were able to do all these different hacks with it you know layout it's in here somewhere so again this is Ray from rwcweb.com Rayware computer since 1996 Got my new YouTube channel going. I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe because that's what YouTube tells me to do. Take care.